Hey, ever wonder if you could have a wheat pizza delivered to you right in New York City? We're about to find out. All right, so we're ordering from a place called Stone Gourmet Cannabis Pizza. It's also called Pizza Pusher. This is kind of interesting. Anyway, I'll link the description of this place. Uh, I'll actually link the whole website down there below so you can go check it out for yourself. But there's two locations for the place and you can go eat there if you want. Or, or in this case, you can have it delivered right to your house. And they, like, there's like, we're going to go through the menu, of course, over here. But one thing to note is a $200 minimum for delivery. So we're going to be ordering a lot of pizza today. <laughs> But this is all for you. This is all for an experiment. We're not gonna eat all of the pizza. Well, maybe we are. I don't know. We might have a little pizza party afterwards. Who knows? Okay, so let's go. If you take a look at the menu, we have pizza pies. So let's take a look at the pizza pies because we're definitely ordering pizza pies. By the way, if you haven't seen my video on the best pizza pies in New York City, I just did one. I'll link it up for you up top. It's really an awesome video, actually. We, uh, we compared Joe's to, uh, to Patsy's to a whole bunch... Let me get to the pizza. If you want to see that one, check it out in the video. All right, so what are we ordering? Well, there's two of us. Are you ready for some pizza? Huh? All right. So what, what do we got? We got medical margarita. <laughs> we can have pepperoni haze. We can have sativa sausage. Stoned vegan of vegetable OG. Okay, the prices are between 50 and $60, and that's about all it says about them. So I think we should probably go for uh, for some pepperoni haze. I like pepperoni. You guys like pepperoni haze? I love pepperoni. I don't know about the haze, but I love the pepperoni, so we'll find out. <laughs> so we got to order that. All right, what else we got here? Let's see. We want a drink, all right? So let's get some drink. All right, so for the sodas, we have a variety here. Grape Ape can of cola, orange kush, and a sour Sprite. I wonder if the Sprite is actually sour. Are you ordering yeah. it? Are you gonna order the sour Sprite? All right, yeah. she's getting the sour Sprite. All right, I'm gonna get the orange kush for sure, and the can of cola, I gotta try that. So we're gonna get those. That sounds good, and what else are we getting? Are we getting anything else? Ooh, and there's gummies here too. There's a bunch of other stuff. Ch chicken lollipops, ganja nuts, like I, I suppose they're like uh, garlic nuts, but with ganja, and a whole like they 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 have cannolis. <laughs> they have they have cheesecake and chocolate, and they have stoned lobster tail. So if you're you know a little bit higher class, if you're not into the chicken lollipops, if you want you know if you want a lobster dinner, stoned pizzas got you covered. <laughs> This is wild. Okay, and let's see, the gummies. So let's take a look at the gummies, what do we got? Uh, we're gonna get the ganja gummies. We're gonna try them, the ganja gummies, yeah? All right, so finally, we got the pizza. I'm ready to go. Got my zen, got my cheat. So we, ladies and gentlemen, are ready. I've been waiting for this for a little while. The pizza is here, let's go. So this looks like just a regular pizza. It smells like regular good old pizza. So there's a bunch of pepperoni on it. I see like some basil. There's a whole bunch of uh, good old, as you can see, some pepperoni right there. Parmesan, cheese, pretty thick crust. Looks pretty good. Actually, pretty thick crust right there, yeah. Dang, it doesn't smell like weed at all. Let's try it. Mmm. Yeah, 
doesn't taste like weed or anything. It tastes just like regular pizza. We'll find out how good it really is, I guess, after I eat it. Oh, and we got, we got soda too. Let's try it. One more, one more. Mmm. Mmm. Stone New York City pizza that makes soda, so let's try it. A little odd. It smells like orange. No, it makes sense. It like, smells like a very light orange. It's not very, it's not super carbonated either. It's like very lightly carbonated. Well, actually pretty good. I do taste a little bit of weed in there actually. I taste the orange. There's a little bit of cream in there. Like it almost, it almost uh, tastes like the or like an orange cream soda kind of. Just for the medical purposes here. I am 6'3", and I weigh about 240 pounds, uh, if you wanted to know. Now, I'll see you back after I finish that and with the soda. Cheers. <laughs> I feel something. Something. It's a little, maybe. I feel like what you would consider maybe the beginning of possibly getting high. <laughs> but you're not sure. But, see, generally the rule is if you have to ask if you're high mm, then you're probably not high and you're probably not working so ladies and gentlemen it's been exactly one actually what time is it? let's find out what time it is it's 11:51, so we ate a slice of pizza at 10:45. this is an hour ago and i drank the whole drink just a little while ago and do i feel anything eh, no <laughs> no i feel Pretty much nothing, I feel the same. I did not feel high. I had a whole slice of pizza and one drink. So technically speaking, I had 40 grams of THC with a slice of pizza and another 20 on top of that with the orange Kush soda. And I um, feel pretty much the same. It's me right here, look. Do I look the same? How do I look? Hmm? How do I look? <laughs> no? Okay, so what we're gonna do <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the video. What do I look like? Can you see my eye? Look in my eye. It almost feels like a CBD kind of. Yeah, I feel it's a little like. It's just not there. I feel relaxed, I would say. Yeah. So I would say that I feel a little bit more relaxed, but that's about it. I don't feel high at all. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat another slice of pizza, of course. Duh. Because if you look at the reviews, right? The reviews are like, oh my God, I had a slice of pizza. I'm so high, I can't deal with it. There was like one review where the guy said he had two slices of pizza and he didn't know where he was. I don't know what slices of pizza he was having or, and, and again, let's also go back here for a second. I'm not like a stoner or anything else. You know what I mean? Like I don't smoke all the time at all, but I'm gonna have another slice of pizza and find out. Uh, that's how we roll over here. Huh? There's one more slice. Check this out. Look at the pepperoni. Yes. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. That's really good. It's really good. It just hasn't done anything to me. So I'm gonna finish this slice and I'll check back with you and let you know what's going on. Cheers. So it's been another hour. So that's two hours so far, two slices of pizza and a whole drink. That's 100 t milligrams of THC supposedly. And I feel absolutely nothing. This is supposed to floor me. It's supposed to put me on the bed drooling, passed out. This is what the reviews have said. This is what I've read 
from all the rest of the people that are talking about this. They're saying that I'm eating this slice of pizza and I have to stop because I feel high and I can't really finish the rest of the food. This makes zero sense to me. I'm not a hardcore smoker and I'm supposed to be feeling something. Like I said, two hours it's been, two slices of pizza, a whole drink, and I feel zero, nothing, nothing. I feel the same as I felt when I, well, I feel not hungry anymore, <laughs> but that's about it. So once again, Stone pizza, I give it a zero out of 10 because it did not get me high. The pizza was good, but definitely not worth $50 if it's not gonna get you high. Let me know down below what you think about this. Have you had this pizza? Did it get you stoned? I don't know, maybe I'm just like immune to marijuana, but I don't feel anything. Again, thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.